In this section, we're going to talk all about the anatomy of a card. You see, we want to get a really clear understanding of the key elements that constitute a card. Understanding the role that these elements play will help us to structure them effectively. So, let's break down the anatomy of a card. A well-designed card is typically going to consist of the following components. This first section we can call the media section. This is really going to be the primary eye-catching visual component of the card. Usually this is going to be an image, but it can be other forms of rich media, like video or animation. Basically, something that grabs a user's attention and provides context to the content of the card. Typically, you'll find this sitting at the top of the card. And it's often the first thing that users notice when they encounter a card. And along with the title, it's the primary element on the card that catches the reader's eye as they scan the page. Now let's go into some of the text elements on the card. Perhaps most important is the title. The title acts sort of as a headline that summarizes the card's topic or content. The title should be short and concise and descriptive. Visually, it's typically going to be the most prominent text element on the card, and it helps users to quickly identify what the card is about. Again, think about someone browsing or scanning the page. The title is going to be one of the main things that jumps out and grabs a visitor's attention. Really, more than anything, the title should be the primary piece of text content that you want to emphasize. Next, we'll talk about text that surrounds or complements the title. This is generally going to be some kind of subtitle or subheading or metadata. Now, in terms of metadata, metadata are going to be those things like publication dates, author names, prices, basically like little pieces of extra information. For example, with blog posts, you might see category information or info on the length of the post, like six minute read, for example. And sometimes metadata, such as blog post categories, can also be used in an interactive way, like allowing the user to click on them and sort by category. Then you'll often see some kind of description text on the card. This is usually a few sentences or even a short paragraph that offers a summary of the content or more insight into the content. Taking a blog post as an example, you might commonly see a short excerpt that's actually taken from the blog post itself. And it's this descriptive text which acts as a sort of preview or taste of what the user will experience once they click through and get to the full article. And then finally, let's talk about the call to action elements on the card. Usually you'll find these at the bottom of the card. And if you think about it, they're kind of the whole purpose of creating the card in the first place. Because ultimately you want the user to take some kind of action. In the case of a blog post or an article, this could be something like a read more button. In the case of a product, we might have something like a learn more button or a buy now button, or maybe an add to cart button. Basically, here is where you're presenting some kind of action that you want the user or the visitor to take. 